around We're not gonna settle down Today. Hudson, why do you look so angry? <laughs> What's up guys? Happy five days out. I just woke up, did my check-ins. I'm down a pound from yesterday, so that is good. I was worried that things are going in the wrong direction, but we're back on track. Right now I'm just having coffee. I'm gonna work a little bit, and then I will show you guys my first meal. All right, guys, so we are preparing my next couple of meals. Honestly, it's nothing special. It's literally gonna be tilapia. I do something weird with my tilapia, but if you don't like the taste of like something that's fishy, I actually put a little bit of stevia on there and cinnamon, and it's actually kind of good. I am kind of crazy when it comes to peak week. I cut out a lot of stuff, so this isn't what I normally would eat. Um, on any given week, but I just try to stick to whole proteins. I don't want any chance to like get bloated or have anything like that um, So I did have egg whites this morning and you guys saw my oatmeal my next few meals are honestly just gonna be tilapia I don't really like to promote that just because there you can get short lean and shredded like not eating this but I Want to be super tight. I am fighting for like my best physique Ever, and I just I'm gonna suck it up so that's what I'm doing I don't want to show you guys every meal because it's pretty much gonna be the same thing I'm eliminating most vegetables except for lettuce um, like shredded lettuce and tilapia that's pretty much all I'm gonna be eating I know that a lot of people are like I feel like competing is all about fish and like asparagus and you know when it comes to getting to a super lean physique and getting super tight especially when you're natural like I want to make sure that I'm doing everything that I can it's crazy because I actually had to convince my coach to deplete me a little bit um, because we are just going to keep everything the same like no water loading no diuretics no nothing like that like this is how I'm looking naturally which is so awesome like even that itself because I've definitely gotten to this weight before but that's been using diuretics or you know once we start cutting water my weight will start to start dropping so I'm just super excited yesterday I woke up 110.4 today I woke up 109.4 I did get into the 108s last week um, but then we went back up a little bit so yeah so cardio is gonna be decreasing by 10 minutes every single day that's kind of the plan we have for now and we dropped my carbs by 25 which I had to convince him to do because he was like, no, we don't need to drop anything. But I just wanted to say that sometimes you just have to suffer a little bit in this sport. Like, it instead of complaining about it, just find a way to, like, distract yourself on peak week. Peak week is a lot easier just because you're getting more excited. I want to be able to, like, bring my best package, and I know that it's going to be worth it. So I just head down. It's time to grind. Like... No excuses, I just, I wanna be the best that I can be and sometimes that comes with with sacrifices. So, I just, I love to be positive just because it really is true, you kind of, I wanna practice what I preach and I feel like the bikini division is one of the only divisions that complains so much about what they're eating, cardio, and it was funny because I was talking to my coach about this and he was like, I have bodybuilders that are on like 800 calories doing two hours and a half of cardio and like you just don't see that on social media. It's always the bikini division that's, you know, wanting to, that's like, oh, I'm eating like this many carbs and this, and doing this much cardio or they're complaining about it or whatever it is. Like just be positive. Like just like any other sport, this sport does require a sacrifice. Uh, I... I've been there, you know, where I was doing 90 minutes of cardio and barely eating any carbs. Now I'm eating a little bit more carbs, but I'm trying to get to that point of having this physique that I, my expectations are super high and with those expectations there does come sacrifice. You can't just 
eat what you want and get shredded. Unfortunately, that's not the sport that we're in. So I just, I like to keep it real, as I always do. You know, I've posted a couple times on my story, like we all have hard days, but that's the nature of this sport. It does get difficult at times and you are gonna have low energy. Like yesterday, me taking my dogs out was like a challenge, but at the end of the day, I'm like, you know what? I'm just gonna take a rest day. I'm gonna do my cardio and then I'm just gonna rest. And that's what I did. I literally laid in my bed for most of the day and I didn't feel absolutely horrible and I really wasn't starving. I was just low energy, but I was. I listened to my body. I took a rest day. Just did my cardio and then today I feel a thousand times better so I think we we tend to live in our feelings instead of living for the big picture the big picture is this is just a temporary feeling you're not gonna feel like this for forever like I have five more days and I'm gonna be on stage and then I'm gonna be on stage again like this is I have a big goal and so think about Think about your goal in that moment instead of thinking about, oh my God, I have to do all this cardio. Like, distract yourself. Put something funny on. Put something motivational on. Write down your goals every single morning so that you remember why you're doing this. And that's what's most important is realizing your potential and that what you're feeling today will pass. How I felt yesterday is already gone and I feel like a completely different person today. Every day is gonna be different. Every day has its challenges, and you know, I heard something from Gary Vee, who's like one of my most favorite people ever, um, just because I love how he keeps it real, and it's the truth, like, work ethic is something that you can get better at, but everything else, like complaining, you know, you're not, it's not just gonna come to you. You have to minimize the amount of complaints that you're thinking in your mind and fill them with positivity. I, but he was talking about how day to day we think we have this bad life and we're struggling or we feel down or we feel sad, depressed, whatever you may do. But overall, like we pretty much have a good life. Like there's so many things to be grateful for. And I just try to keep that into perspective when something happens or I feel bad that day. I'm like, you know what? Like I have a damn good life and God is freaking amazing. And I need to just suck it up right now and be blessed and feel blessed for the opportunities that I've been given because no one's forcing me to do this. Like, no one is saying, Morgan, you have to eat tilapia, you know, in order to do this. I can eat what I want, but I'm choosing to do this because I love this. And the opportunity to go after what I want in life, hands down, is outweighs the amount of complaints that I have. You know, this sport is definitely for me. I love the challenge that it has brought me as far as just being competitive with myself and it always keeps me on my toes and I'm just, you know, I'm ready. So I just, don't let your ego get in the way of who you are as a person and you literally have sometimes like five seconds before your mind will take over. Like if you think about it, and this is funny because I was listening to something else, like, um, you know, you think that you hesitate about doing cardio. You hesitate about, you know, reaching out to someone and telling them how you feel. You hesitate to, you know, hit your macros or whatever it might be. You get lost in that moment. But it, she was talking about how we literally have five seconds and then the way that our bodies and our brain works, it'll prevent you from doing what you need to do. So that's where you need to have that discipline and to come, you know, come to the realization that you are in control and you can make it happen. So don't hesitate, you know, we don't hesitate to get dressed, we don't hesitate to wake up, we don't hesitate to do all these things, but we hesitate to, you know, make that right food choice. We hesitate to go to the gym, we hesitate to make sure we're doing our cardio. We hesitate to do, you know, our homework or if you're in college or things that are done, we procrastinate. So don't procrastinate, just make those decisions execute on them and you will notice a big change in the way that you live your life and just and just learn to be happy this life is short and you don't want to have any regrets and you just got to live in the moment appreciate what you have and be blessed so that is my rant for today because if you change your mindset you will change your life i i believe in that so strongly um but i'm just making the sloppy now i think it pretty much burnt it but I'm so excited, you guys. Like, this is my redemption physique. Like, I have worked so hard these last seven weeks to just to just bring my best. And 
I feel like I have accomplished that, but I'm not stopping here. I'm gonna keep going and make it happen for myself. So that's all I got for you guys right now. I am about to go edit the video that you're gonna see before this. So love you guys so much and I'll see y'all in the next clip. All right guys, so I'm back from my workout. Please don't mind the mess in my house right now. I literally am just like, ugh. But I got my Nikki B shirt. It already came in the mail. It came so fast. I'm actually glad that I got the small. I was like worried because they sold out of the extra small, but it is so cute. I like my shirts like a little bit baggier, but it is adorable. I just like love comfy stuff and I was in the need for something else and this was perfect and I love my girl Nikki so shout out to her I literally ordered that like <laughs> three days ago and it's already here so I just had um my next meal I didn't like I said I'm not going to show you guys like everything just because it's kind of boring but tilapia I'm basically just like getting myself prepared for this week um just cleaning my place because it's a disaster um, I feel like pee week. I just don't feel like doing anything really. Um, and yeah, I'm just gonna edit some more YouTube and relax. So that's the plan. Catch you guys in the next place. All right, so for my last meal, I literally just had this tuna. Um, it really wasn't that bad, but my fats are pretty low today. We have three days of super low, pretty much everything except for protein. And, well, not super low, not super low, but low. Um, and that's going to be like my final depletion. I really want to be super tight. I'm making coffee right now because I am a coffee addict. And, yeah, I just went to Publix, got some more food. I feel like I go to the grocery store so many times on peak week. And, yep, another day down and another day closer. The list came out today. It's going to be a pretty stock show, but this will give me a good indication of where I'm at right now. Um, going against the best of the best, so I get to share the stage with, with some amazing athletes, so I'm excited about that. And then I'm heading to San Antonio the next week. So, I just had tuna for my last meal. Pretty boring, but... It is what it is. So I don't want to like show you guys that stuff just because it's kind of like, it's just tuna and vegetables. But I'm making coffee right now and I'm going to head to my mom's and yeah, that's it. All right. This is going to close out this vlog and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.